Tell you what, folks, on the back of the old uh, agony uncle, I read one today in the paper. Obviously, you know what it's like in the paper. They're all trash, but I read something today. It had me chuckling. I thought I'd tell you. There's a bloke there. There's a bloke there, and he's seeing this woman. I don't think it's an affair as such, because he's supposed to be single. Anyway, he's seeing this woman, and he sa she says he sees me about twice a week. About twice a week, he calls round. And I love him because I don't have much of a social life, and it's the only attention I seem to get. And he seems to think the world of me. And she said, when we did the old, you know what, you know the bit of how's your father and whatever else. He's very passionate, but he's very, very kinky. And, you know, we get up to a lot of stuff I've never seen and done before. But I find it all exciting. Anyway, once we were telling each other our fantasies. And he said, oh, he like, I like to watch. I hope the kids aren't watching this. I like to watch. All oh, right, she said. Anyway, he went on about it. And then a few months later, he said, I've got a few friends. He said, I think I'd like to bring them round, a few male friends. He said, I know some women that became as well. You'll like them all, they're all good looking. He said, but I'd like to bring these few fellas round. I won't get involved, I'll just watch. It'll really turn me on. And she said, I'm thinking to myself, do I want to do it or not? I've never done anything like it before, but I don't want to disappoint him and he's the only light in my life. She said, now as it turns out, he's living with his partner still, but there's nothing in it. They want to separate, they don't get on at all. What it is... He's got an old dog. True this, folks, I'm not making it up. Not an old dog, his partner's not an old dog. They've got an old dog between him, an old dog, and he said he can't leave the dog, but the partner won't let him take the dog. So he's staying with her till the dog dies. You couldn't make this up, folks, I'm not making it up. I think this person writes into the newspaper as, although, no, there's some right thickos on it there. She said, yeah, he is going to leave him, but as soon as the dog dies... And she's saying to the old columnist, she's the agony ant, what should I do? Um, do I invite him and his friends round or not? I don't want to disappoint him and I do believe he's going to leave me when the dog dies. Anyway, the uh, agony ant poo-pooed it all and said, you don't want to believe this, you don't want to believe that. I don't believe everybody in the world wants to watch, blah, 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 blah. Do you really believe the story about the dog? Because it seems far-fetched. I would have said, as an agony uncle, I would have said, Listen, lovey, I think what you need to do is get checked into that establishment with Jack Nicholson and go and see Nurse Ratchet. She'll sort you out because you've got some serious problems up here, love. Some real serious problems. So a guy's not going to leave his ex until the dog dies, but it's an old dog. I'll tell you what, I've heard some excuses in my time. I've never heard that one before. Absolutely. Bobby Dazzling. I thought I'd relate, folks, because it made me laugh. And I thought, are there people that stupid out there? And then I thought, there are some. There are. She's probably a right run, Dicko. She must be as thick as they come. She must be. She's got to be. Anyway, she's got a nice of passion lined up if she wants it. Could be with males, could be with females. Could be a right free-for-all. Oh, aye. It's up to her. Anyway, that's, that's as it stands, folks. I've got nothing more to say on the subject. Nothing more at all. I've said too much already, haven't I? No, it's right. She's dead anyway, by the way, the one that played it. I know it weren't real. I know that was... Yeah. But I did like that film, One Flew Over. I love that film. I thought it was a cracker.